going on YouTube family, this is your man Pristine, back with another video, back with another unboxing. Here before you, I've got Blue, Bold Like Us. I've got their latest flagship device. This is the G91 Pro. Um, now this phone was just released like a couple of days ago um, by Blue. It's been a minute, you know, since I've had a Blue device. Um, the last one that I had was was uh was was super solid um it was the vivo xl plus a couple years ago i believe and then they followed that up with the bold n1 which i really really liked um and here we are with the g91 pro so um without further ado let's jump into this thing and by the by the weight of this box you know i i feel like um you know some some oems are going to need to you know take notes because if i remember correctly uh what blue is 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 pretty pretty well known for is making sure that all the components are inside the box and um <laughs> what you're what you're you know what you're paying for one of these devices is way significantly less than your typical flagship where you're only getting the device and you know we're in a day and age now where they're not even putting the charging brick in the in the in, in the box i mean that's a separate accessory that you gotta go buy after you spent the thousand dollars so i think that blue is gonna be schooling some cats um you know in this video um <clears throat> samsung <clears throat> apple <laughs> yeah you guys might want to take some notes all right so again blue g91 pro the full retail price for this phone is $249.99. Now, Blue, they're pretty known for whenever they drop a new device, they will they will do like a flash sale instantly. So it's not one of those kind of things where it has to be out for a little while before it catches a sale. No, Blue, they'll put out their newest device and they'll put it on sale immediately. A lot of times I get these emails from um, Amazon stating that a new Blue device has came in. And a lot of times the prices are ridiculous. Full retail for this bad boy, $249.99. But right now, as of September, what's today? Today, September 11th, um, it's $199.99 on Amazon. I'm not exactly sure how long that's gonna be going on. I mean, so if you, you know, peep out this video and you like this device, I'll drop the link in the description. Make sure that, you know, you get to it as quickly as possible so you can take advantage of that sale. All right, now we've got a 6.7 inch ips lcd 1080 by 2400 hd plus infinity dot display we've got a 20 by 9 aspect ratio we got a 395 ppi pixel density we've got a screen to body ratio of 91.4 i mean so the bezels on this on this device are extremely slim all right the internal specifications now this phone, you know, that, that Blue is claiming that, you know, this phone is primarily like a gaming phone, okay? So we've got the MediaTek MT6785 Helio IG90 12 nanometer gaming chipset. We've got an octa-core CPU 2.0 gigahertz. We've got the Mali G76 MC4 GPU. We've got 128 gigs of storage that can be expanded up to 256. We've got six gigs of RAM. Uh, we do have, I just mentioned, we've got micro SD card support for expansion of memory. We're running Android 11. Um, and this phone, it has the latest ARM Cortex A76 octa-core architecture. And so uh, that's really gonna boost uh, the performance for gaming and just how you use this phone overall. Like it's really gonna help this phone be, you know, pretty fluid uh, with pretty much whatever you do. All right, now we've got a quad camera system on the rear. We've got a 48 megapixel Samsung GM1 sensor. This is F1.8 aperture. This is a wide lens with a 0.8 micron pixel featuring PDAF. We've got a five megapixel F2.2 ultra wide sensor which, with 115 degree field of view. We've got a two megapixel F2.4 depth sensor and another two megapixel um, uh, F2.4 macro lens featuring LED flash, HDR, panorama, 
4K recording at 30 frames per second and 1080p recording at 30, uh, 30 frames per second as well. Now on the front, we've got a 16 megapixel sensor. This is an F 2.0 uh, aperture sensor. Uh, we've only got 1080p recording with the front camera at 30 frames per second. Now this camera, it's it's got some pretty some pretty neat features. We've got something that's called super zoom, and this gives you the ability to capture images at 108 megapixels at 12,000 by uh, 90, 24 resolution. We've got 30 times zoom in extreme, uh, oh, 30 times zoom in, I'm reading off my little cheat sheet here. We've got extreme night mode, and then we have something called MFNR, which stands for multi-frame noise reduction. And then we have pro mode X raw uh, mode, which you know is gonna give you a whole uh, plethora of things in the in the pro mode to tweak and customize to really you know get that image the way that you want to capture it. Now, battery life. We've got a 5000 milliamp hour non-removable battery. We've got Type-C USB 2.0. We do have USB on the go for fast charging. We do have fast charging at 30 watts, which the 30 watt fast charger is in the box. Samsung, take notes because there ain't no excuses as to why your new, your brand new uh, Z Flip 3 5G has a 15 watt Type-C port on it. Why is it that a thousand dollar device has a 15 watt Type C port on it, but then this $200 device has a 30 watt fast charger because it supports 30 watt fast charging. Like that is that is insane to me. That that's crazy to me. All right, now we do have 10 watt wireless charging, and Blue is claiming that you can get 50% charge in 20 minutes, and I believe that. All right, now. The features, we've got Bluetooth 4.1, we've got FM radio, we've got a rear mounted fingerprint sensor, we've got a 3.5 millimeter jack. This is a, uh, a GSM unlocked device, which means that it's gonna work with AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, Cricket Wireless, Metro PCS, uh, Simple Mobile, any, any GSM network is gonna work with this device. It, it's not CDMA compatible, so you're not gonna be able to use this with Verizon, Boost, uh, Sprint, um, US Cellular, you know, no CDMA carriers with this device. It's GSM unlocked. We do have facial, uh, facial ID as well, so you can use that um, in tandem with the fingerprint sensor for added security for your device. Um, the colors that we can get this device in is graphite and moonstone. This is the graphite color. Moonstone was not quite available just yet or it was gonna have me wait a little bit for it and I wanted to get that same day delivery because I literally just ordered this phone this morning and I'm so impatient, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think they were saying that uh, that Moonstone color, which looks super dope by the way, they said it was gonna get to me by like Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want this phone today. I wanna review it and unbox it today. So give me that graphite one. So boom, here we got the graphite. All right, now the dimensions is 201 grams. That checks out at 7.09 ounces. And that's all I got for the specifications, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see with the box here, we've got a clean setup, nice black box. You know what I'm saying? I like that G91 Pro. You got the big 91 on the, on the, on the cover of the box. Obviously blue smartphones to the left of the box. You just got the G91 Pro, and I like how that shimmers, how it changes color, you know, when it reflects in the light. We got that blue logo right there. God, this box is heavy, man. I'm sure there's, there's, everything is in this box. I can tell, you know what I'm saying? To the left, hashtag bold like us. That's Blue's little, little logo. And, you know, on the top of the box, we've just got the IEMI serial number, all that jazz. And then on the back of the box, you see G91 Pro, and this list, all of the notable features with the device. I mean, so pretty much everything that I just read off, again, 6.7 inch full HD plus infinity dot display, 2400 by 1080 resolution, MediaTek Helio G90, Octa-Core 2.0 uh, gigahertz processor, um, 128 gigs of storage, advanced quad AI camera with LED flash, Here's the camera sensors, super pixel with 108 megapixel super zoom, 
16 megapixel selfie camera, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, plus wireless charging, hyper 30 watt max charger, fingerprint sensor, micro SD up to, uh, what? Micro SD um, up to 128. This has 128. I think they meant to put 256 on there. Android 11. All right, let's go. Got the unboxing knife right here. Let's see what it is. Boom. All right, and so right when you open up the box, you are greeted with the G91 Pro. And man, this phone's a beast. Like I said, it is 6.7 inches. I mean, so it's got some heft to it, but it is that 20 by nine aspect ratio. So this phone, it's tall. And wow, I like that. I like the fact that it's curved around the edges from the front or from the sides to the front feels good in the hands oh man whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Ah, it had a screen protector on it and the screen protector came off with the paper oh well whatever i was going to peel that off anyway you see right here on the little cover that was on the phone it says fortnite compa uh, fortnite compatible so you know it's 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 advertising gaming you know what I mean? All right, so we've got a little sticker here on the back. Can I peel that off? Can I get a nail under it? Yes, I can. Boom. All right, look at that. So that is the graphite. That's actually beautiful. That looks really nice. This looks like it's got a matte feel. There's our rear mounted fingerprint sensor right there. All right, let's go ahead and boot up the device. And while it's booting up, We'll go to the rest of the box. You see blue smartphones powered by Android. Okay, so we'll let that do its thizzing. All right, now, wow, look at this. Little, little, little velvet in the box. Come on, man. You know, giving it, giving us, giving us a, a, a flagship unboxing experience. You know what I'm saying? With the nice materials inside the box. Okay, blue. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I like that little little style, little pizzazz with it. All right, man. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Two hundred bucks, man. Let's go. All right. So here, ladies and gentlemen, is our thirty watt charging brick. Boom. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is our USB A to USB C. That's going to be for charging our device. Here is our SIM ejection tool. Here is our blue logo sticker. So for all your partners out there that got other Android devices or if they got Apple iOS, then you can just go ahead and troll them and slap one of these on the back of their phone. You know what I'm saying? What we got here, what we got here. Now you see, we got headphones in here and I'm not exactly sure what the quality of these headphones are, but the fact of the matter is, Blue was mindful enough to put them in here. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, you know, this is um, this is a, a, a 3.5 millimeter jack adapter here. So obviously the phone has a 3.5 mm jack, which is always welcome. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of poison, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get back at them fools talking trash. <laughs> Shout out to Flossie on that one, man. He's a damn nut. Uh, we got the G91 Pro, quick uh, quick start guide, and then we've got the dual SIM installation guide right there. And ooh ooh, we got the rugged case. Ooh, I like that. I like that. We got the rugged case with the carbon on the back. Oh man, that's killing them. That's hurting them right there. 200 bucks, man. Come on, man. Learn them, Blue. School Samsung and Apple, man. Look at the rugged case with, oh, man. Come on, man. Come, look at, look at, man. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. 200. Oh, my goodness. Blue, you're killing me. 
I mean, this 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 is the unboxing experience that I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? We can never get that when we spend a thousand and above. But you know, spend spend you know two two hundred two fifty. Oh man, you th this is this is putting these flagships to shame. Okay, so here, so even though I peeled off the 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 the, the pre-installed screen protector, what do we got here? A hard plastic screen protector. Man, that's what the hell I'm talking about, man. Everything is in the box. $200, you're getting all that right now on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's get it, man. Man, I'm I'm man, I'm I'm in a bad mood right now, man. My team just took a devastating L, man. Florida State, damn it. Let Jacksonville beat him. Jacksonville State beat him on the last play of the game. I'm hot right now, man. But I mean, you know, Blue in this unboxing experience, yeah, it cheer me up a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 yeah, yeah. It's going it's all right. <laughs> it ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, no nation stand up, man. We gonna be back, man. We gonna be back. All right. Uh, all right, man. Have to, you know, get a little swig of the do it fluid. Let's get it. Okay. So let's look at the hardware real quick. Now, again, we've got a 6.7 inch Infinity O display. Why is it called the Infinity O display? Because you got the camera right there at the top and it's a little O. You know what I'm saying? It's a little dot. You know, the so you can call it the Infinity O display, the Infinity dot display. Whatever, it's an Infinity Plus 6.7 inch corner to corner display. Now on the right side of the device, we've got our power button right there that also acts as our lock button. We've got the volume rocker up and down. Up at the top of the device, we've got nothing but a little noise canceling microphone right there. You can see that in the glare, ladies and gentlemen. To the left of the device, here is where we have the SIM pin and that's going to be where we're going to house our nano sim and our sd card um, for memory expansion if that's what we want to do all right there's another button over here i can only imagine that that's probably like a google assistant button um we'll see we'll see what that button is because i know that on previous blue devices that had that that was exactly what it was but the button was reprogrammable you know what I mean? So if you didn't want to have that button be used for the Google Assistant, then you can program it to use it for something different. And I really, really like that. All right, now, bottom of the device, here is our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We've got another noise canceling microphone right here. Here's our Type-C port for charging. Here's our bottom firing speaker. I do believe that we just have a single loudspeaker on the bottom. I don't believe that we have stereo speakers. Um, but that it's possible. We very well might have stereo speakers. We do have a little earpiece speaker right there. Let me see if I can capture that in the glare for you guys. See, you guys see that? It's ever so tiny, but it is there. All right. And uh, to the rear of the device, again, we've got, the, it says blue product ink design in Miami um, model G91 Pro. Blue is an American made uh, phone manufacturer. They are in the USA. Uh, their headquarters is in Miami, Florida. And so that's another reason why I like to, you know, support them because, you know, they're, they're on, they're on our home soil. They're in the U S you know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of these phones that, you know, we, we know and love, uh, the most, um, you know, they're, 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 they're overseas or they're like Japanese or Taiwanese or, you know what I'm saying? They're from a lot of different places. Um, so, you know, it's good to, you know, get some, get some products made on, on, on us soil. You know, I like to support them, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, blue, they, they offer, you know, uh, some serious bang for your buck when you're talking about, uh, uh, uh you know, saving money and uh, overall value for, for not a lot of money at all. You get a lot of phone, you know, their phones, they have a lot of features and functions and things that can really, you know, uh, go toe to toe with, a lot of the a lot of the uh, the competition. So on the rear here, I, I I know this isn't corn and gorilla glass. I mean it's probably some kind of hard plastic. It feels that way, but I mean the phone it looks premium. It feels premium. It doesn't feel cheap, you know, or anything like that. Um, here is our quad camera system here. 
The lens in the middle is the main 48 megapixel sensor. Um, here's a you know, five megapixel here, five megapixel there. I'm not exactly sure which one is the depth versus the macro. Um, or actually, I'm sorry, the ultra wide. I think this is the ultra wide and then this is uh, the macro and I believe that that is the depth sensor. And then there's our LED flash sitting at the top right of the camera lens right there. Here's our fingerprint sensor. And you know, I'll test that out momentarily. And uh, that's pretty much it for the cosmetic hardware, ladies and gents. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing back up, get to the desktop, and I'll be right back with you. All right, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back in. This is the desktop for the Blue G91 Pro. Um, now I haven't set, um, I haven't set the phone up at all. Um, I haven't downloaded any of my applications on here, so I just wanted to show you exactly what comes pre-installed on the device. Wanted to show you exactly how much storage you got working with. Um, on the box, it is advertised that we've got 200 and, um, uh, I'm tripping, 128 gigs of storage, but you're only getting about 116 given the amount of preloaded applications that are on the device. Um, and speaking of applications that are on the device, you're pretty much getting a stock Android experience. I mean, you know, there's not, I mean, there's a few applications that are on here that I'm not gonna use, but for the most part, I mean, you're just getting the full Google suite. Um, SDK, uh, I think that's, you know, that's a SIM card setting thing. So um, Wish, TikTok, search solitaire you know the, those are those are going to be apps that i'm definitely going to get rid of i don't play games on my phone even though i know that this phone is being touted as a gaming phone or having the type of processing power to make um for a fluid gaming experience um but so i mean you know I, those are, I mean, with the exception of those four apps that I just named, everything else is, is just the full Google suite. All right, so um, I'm a fan of that. Uh, let's see, go ahead and pick the device up. And we've got that fingerprint sensor on the rear. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and lock the device. And I got the settings set to where when you lift the device, boom. And as soon as you see your face, it wakes up. It would have been nice to have had the double tap to sleep and double tap to wake feature, but that's not really a big deal. But I do have it set up to where you raise the phone, boom. That facial recognition is super quick. Let's try that again. Oops. Raise it up. And as soon as it recognizes you, it just goes straight into your desktop. And you can set that to where it can go straight into your desktop or you can use the little swipe feature just for added security. Um, but I have it set to where as soon as it recognizes my face, boom, just pop right into the desktop. Now let's try that fingerprint sensor real quick right here on the rear of the device. You see that nice and quick. Demonstrate that again. Hear a little, you, you feel a little haptic feedback. And I gotta say too, on this device, I mean, I, there's been some previous blue devices where the haptics felt kinda cheap, if you will. But this one, the, the, the haptic feedback on this device, it feels pretty, it feels pretty solid. I mean, it's gonna give you a nice little, a nice little vibration, you know, when you unlock the fingerprint sensor, even when you do the facial unlock, you know, it's just, it, it vibrates to let you know that the phone recognized your face and that it's unlocking and you saw how quickly it does that. Um, so I, I, I like that. Um, the screen, it does not have to be on in order for you to use the fingerprint sensor. So even if the screen is locked, here's my finger here, I'm just gonna tap it, boom. You feel the little vibration and it just pops right into the uh, the desktop there. So um, yeah, I mean, there's no high refresh rate. You know, we've only got 60 Hertz on this display uh, on this phone, but that to me is not really a big deal. Like I, I understand, you know, just, you know, uh, the whole, you know, motion smoothness and things of that nature. But a lot of times in, in my case, uh, with the exception of a few phones, usually the higher refresh rates being turned on results in not so good battery life. And so a lot of times I end up turning that off and, 
and, and rocking with 60 hertz just to have battery sustainability. But here's my Google Now feed. And you can see that things are nice and fluid here. Woo, Tito Ortiz yeah, and or uh, Anderson Silva just dropped him. He, he was out there asleep. Um, and then, of course, Jacksonville State beats Florida State on Hail Mary to earn stunning upset. Yeah, that I'm, I'm still kind of perturbed about that. Um, Florida State is my team, and I'm here. Jacksonville State stuns Florida State with 59 yard walk off TD, plants flag at midfield, and epic upset. Wow. Had to remind me of that. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 man. I, yeah, let me, let me, let me get off that, man. Let me get off that. But, but, uh, yeah, you, you can see, uh, that things are nice and responsive as they ought to be. Things are pretty snappy here. Okay, scroll down once. That's gonna take you to your notifications, man. Wow. Okay, here's the. Uh, it's like, well, <laughs> how many? I just can't escape it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, here's the game recap with the final score, as if I want to see that again or constantly be reminded of what I saw. Um, now, another nice thing. As soon as I turned this phone on, there was a security patch update, and so restart now or restart after 2 a.m. I will finish that as soon as I'm done with this video, but I just wanted to show that, hey, as soon as you turn your phone on, if you decide to order this device, then it's going to update to whatever the latest uh, security patch, and there's going to be some minor bug fixes as well. Um, so that is nice. And then you scroll down again, and this is going to take you to your quick toggles. Okay, you've got a whole plethora of them right there. I do like the fact that the uh, brightness bar is right here underneath your quick toggles. If you want to customize your quick toggles, then you just hit the little pin right there at the top right next to the settings icon. Tap on that. And then you can long press and maneuver these things around where you want them. Set them up in the order that you want. Hit the arrow back right there and then boom, you're all set to go. All right. Now, another thing that I like is you can customize the scrolling features. You can see my scrolling feature is not your typical, just you know, side to side. What you do is you long press on the display. You've got widgets, effects, wallpapers, launcher settings. If you go to effects, it's gonna bring up classic, which is this. You got stack, which is that. You got page, it's like turning a page and then you see the little arrow right here. You hit the arrow, there's three more of them. Or you scroll over. Okay, you got zoom in box outer and then you got windmill okay so i'm rocking with that box outer oh, oh excuse me and uh, yeah you know you got you got some some customization options there and i I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that so we'll go to launcher settings and then this is where you can go you can turn your notification dots on or off add app icon to home screen Layout and display, you can do four by four, five by four, or five by five. I keep it on five by five. Customize app icons. So you can go to that and you can actually customize what you want the icons to look like. By default, they're circular, but I think you can change them to square or, well, let's see. Okay, nothing's happening. Okay, I have to play with that to find out exactly what that does. Um, customize app name. Okay, obviously you can change the name of the app. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. We got icon size. Okay, so we can change the sizes if we want them extra small or extra large. Um, it's medium by default, so I just hit okay there. Um, desktop mode, folder thumbnail display, app name length. And then layout lock. After the layout is locked, the desktop application cannot be dragged or uninstalled. All right. And then you got docked app. Display the name for apps located on the bottom row of home screen. It's pretty slick. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll pop into the settings menu. And as you can see, I've got dark mode enabled. I like how in the settings menu, you've got about device 
right at the top. You know what I mean? And as soon as you click on about device, it has some of the most pertinent things that you may use right there at the top. So you've got face ID, fingerprint, portrait mode, 108 megapixel super zoom, AI intelligent technology, and navigation bar. Um, and so, you know, those are definitely some things that you're going to want to toggle once you, you know, get in, you know, get into the phone settings. And so I think that that's a nice touch that they put them right there so you don't have to go looking for them in their various categories. Um, I, I really like that. Okay, so we got device name G91 Pro. Here is phone number for SIM slot one, SIM slot two, emergency information, legal information, SIM status for SIM, dot, uh, SIM slot one. SIM status for SIM slot two. So there's two different confirmations that we have dual SIMs, model and serial number IEMI one, IEMI two, Android version 11. As you can see that we're on the May security update. So yeah, so this phone is definitely due for a security update and that's the update that is pending me restarting the device. Um, so glad that that update is there. So then we've got Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, Android Auto, Hotspot, Tether, Hotspot and Tethering, more network settings. Then we've got display. So under display, here's where we can choose the light or the dark mode. We've got the brightness level, adaptive brightness, nightlight, wallpaper, changeable screen lock wallpaper. That's every time your screen locks and then it unlocks. Um, wait, every time your screen is locked, it'll be a different wallpaper, which is kind of dope. You know, it just kind of changes it up, kind of breaks the monotony of just seeing the same old image. And I know that you can manually go in and change your wallpaper, but, you know, this just does it automatically. And it's going to be something nice and new every time you look at your phone. So I, I like that. I have that turned up. So then we got launcher settings. That's what I was what I just enabled by long pressing on the home screen. Font size, display size, screen saver, screen timeout, auto screen, rotate, screen color mode. Now, by default, this is on standard you've got vivid and you've got cool color. Now you don't have the option to toggle the RGB or the white balances or anything like that, but you can see how vibrant the colors are on vivid. And then you see when I are on standard rather, then when I hit vivid, they brighten up a little bit, but then when I hit cool color, it kind of adds a little bit of a bluish hue to it and it kind of cools it down. You know what I mean? It's not as warm. Okay. But things seem to look fine to me on standard. So I just keep it rocking out at standard. All right, so then we got lock screen, switch screen, display area. And this is where if um, if you're ever in an app and the uh, the hole punch camera in the middle is an intrusion, then you can just hit hide top area to black that area out. OK, so that's where you go to do that. And it's just called switch screen display area. All right, then we got cast and printing. Okay, and now we got navigation bar. Now this is where you're gonna go to set up your gesture navigation. And that's what I have going on here. So you've got hide navigation bar, three button navigation, and then you got gesture navigation. And then right here by gesture navigation, there's a little, um, a little settings menu and you can choose the sensitivity. It says higher sensitivity may conflict with any app gestures along the edges of the screen. And so by default, it's on low. I haven't touched them. That's where I'm going to keep it. And, you know, the phone is super responsive to, you know, res you know, responsive to the gestures that I give it. You know what I mean? Such as going back like that. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, that's where you'll go if you want to enable gesture navigation now we've got sound you click into that and this is just going to give you your ability to toggle you know your media call volume ring and notification volume alarm volume vibrate for calls default volume button control do not disturb media shortcut to prevent ringing then you hit advanced and then it's just going to let you set up your phone's ringtone default notification sound, alarm sound, and then whether or not you want sounds and vibrations for the dial pad tone, screen locking sound, charging sounds and vibration, touch sounds, touch vibration, and then sound enhancement. You go to sound enhancement and best loudness, volume booster for speaker. This speaker is actually kind of loud, so I just left that off. And it's just one single bottom firing loudspeaker that is down here. We don't have dual stereo speakers. That would have been nice, but 
you know, for 200 bucks, I mean, you can't expect to get everything. But like I said, I mean, that loudspeaker is super loud. I don't think that anybody would have an issue hearing that loudspeaker. All right. So then we go to apps and notifications, privacy, security. Now under security, this is where we got Google Play Protect, security update, find my device, uh, app lock, fingerprint, face ID, smart lock, and then under advanced, we got device admin apps, encryption and credentials, trusted agents, and app pinning. Okay, that's all under security. Intelligent assistance. Now this is where you have a lot of your gestures. You got flip to silent, three finger screenshot, three finger skid start screen, um, skid start split screen. So swipe up with three fingers to activate split screen mode. You got sensor calibration, quickly open camera. And this is just by double tapping on the home button while the phone is asleep. Lift to wake. You saw I demonstrated that if the phone is on its back and you lift it up, then it's gonna wake up the, the, the screen. Google Assistant button. And so I was right, that, that's what that button is on the left. Um, I have that turned off. Now it doesn't look as though, it doesn't seem as though that's remappable to do other actions, so I'll just turn it off. Um, new message bright screen, so the message turns on when the screen is off. Um, and then you got accessibility and power menu. Okay, so those are the gestures that, uh, gestures that you'll find under intelligent assistance. Okay, then we got location, accounts, system under system got language date and time storage so you can see 12.94 gigabytes of storage have been used of the 128 leaving me with an available storage balance of 115 gigabytes now like i said that is expandable up to 256 um so you can you know go and get another 128 gig sim car, uh, sd card and put it in here to double the storage all right, that's, uh, that's a nice touch right there. And then of course, you know, it's gonna tell you, you know, what's using, you know, the most amount of storage on your device. Like I said, I mean, those games that came preloaded, I'm gonna erase those, so it's gonna free up some space with that. Um, but that's where you go to manage your storage. And then you can click on manage storage, and then files app can help you quickly find your photos, videos, documents, and more. Hit continue. And this is where it's going to tell you whether or not you've got junk files, you know, clean up, you know, maybe there's some stuff going on that's bogging your device down. If you clean it up, then you'll notice a little bit more fluidity or, or smoothness with your, with, your, with your phone. It may be a little bit faster, you know, stuff like that. This is where you'll go to, you know, clean out everything on your device to make sure that it's performing at an optimal level all the time. All right. Boom. Okay, so you're gonna find that on their system. Then you got digital well-being and parental controls and Google. All right, so now let's pop into the camera real quick. And wow, wow, that looks that that the 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 quality in that viewfinder looks very nice. Obviously, by by default, it's on photo. Then there's video. It's portrait mode. And then there's more. And then we've got night mode, pro mode, 108 megapixel mode, GIF, beauty, panorama, slow motion, time lapse, intelligence scanner, and micro or macro. My apologies. All right. So we'll go back to photo, and then we'll go to the settings real quick. And then we've got picture size. So then we got 48 megapixel, 29 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 7 megapixel. By default, it's on 48, so we'll just keep it there. Location info, uh, info brand watermark, okay. Camera mute, touch shooting, self timer, grid. Yeah, I like the grid on. ZSD, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Uh, volume key feature, anti-flicker and reset all right so that is going to be under your settings this is ai this little icon right there is going to give you some filters down at the bottom okay we'll get those out of there here is hdr um hdr is turned off by default but then you've got hdr auto and then you can just turn hdr on 
right there. We'll just leave it off for now. And then we've got the screen flash. All right, now like I said, we do have 4K recording at 30 frames per second. We also have 1080p recording at 30 frames per second. So here, let me go ahead and take a sample shot. Let's see here. Okay, got a nice quick shutter speed there. Let me see here. Okay, then I'm gonna flip the camera, get a quick selfie. Oh man, that that's that's that that quality in that selfie camera is impressive. Again, we've got a 16 megapixel selfie snapper. All right, boom. So now looking at it through the lens of my camera, I mean, it doesn't quite do it justice, but I mean, that is a good looking photo, okay? And that's the other one that I took right there. And then that's the other one that I took of my little setup over here, PS5 and all that stuff. So, you know, stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna have, I don't know, I, I started consolidating my camera reviews. You know, I've, I've been putting them at the tail end of the pristine review which is the full review of these devices, but I don't know, maybe I'll start separating them again, you know, so that my full pristine review videos aren't so long. Um, but either way, if I do it like, if I, if I decide to do it separately, then you guys will see it. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that if you're interested in what the, what the actual camera performance of this device is. Um, and then, like I said, I mean, keep it locked. Got the, uh, the pristine review that's gonna be coming in about a week and a half, two weeks, you know, just after some real world testing. I really put these phones to use before I review them just because I wanna make sure that I'm covering every aspect. Again, I do this all just to help you guys make an informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase is gonna be and I take that very seriously. Okay, so I'm not one of these guys that I just get a device, spend a day or two with it, and then boom, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm throwing reviews out there like I know everything there is to know about the device in such a, a short time span. So, and plus, you know, there's other reviews that I'm working on. Um, stay tuned. You know, I've got the full pristine review that's going to be coming for uh, uh, the Z Flip 3 5G, um, uh, the ZTE Axon 30 Ultra. I've got the full pristine review coming for that. I've got the unboxing coming for the ZTE Axon 30. Um, yeah, just got a lot of stuff going on. I'm also gonna be covering the new iPhone that, you know, I know the press event. I got the invitation is on the 14th this Tuesday with Apple. Um, Pixel 6 is gonna be dropping soon. Yeah, a lot of, and, and there's a couple of other phones in between those that I want to get my hands on as well that I've been having my eye on that I want to you know get into the lab and and uh, and review those as well so a lot of stuff going on you know make sure you're subscribed hit that notifications bell so that you won't miss uh, any uploads uh, when they do go up and uh, you know when you get that notification that I've uploaded something be one of the first to get down in the comments you know after you checked it out and let me know what you thought you know hit me with any questions comments or feedback of any kind all right I love to talk tech with you guys respectfully. All right, so thanks for stopping by the channel. You know, again, if this is your first time checking out Pristine Mobile Tech, I thank you for swinging by. You know, I hope that, uh, you know, this video content will warrant your subscription. And uh, like I said, keep it locked at Pristine Mobile Tech because I've got so much more to come. Again, thanks for letting me bend your ear. And um, until the next video, you already know, please stay safe, get spiritually fit, and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.